trips are not my thing. I don't enjoy sitting in a car for hours and hours and hours. I'd rather sit on an airplane for hours and hours and hours. Mm -hmm. You can get up and go to the bathroom. You can get cocktails. Yeah. So, anyways, we are approaching Beaumont. Then we're going to jump on I-10 going into Lake Charles. So, can't wait to see Grandpa Paul. It's been about a year. When you get to be that age, you don't know how much longer you have left. So, you need to take advantage of seeing people. Family matters. So, anyways, we got Lamar driving. Yeah. So, anyways, hopefully we'll capture, 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 capture the uh, arrival at the casino. Out my baggie. Don't gamble. I do shop. So, anyways, here we go. Okay, so the casino is headed in that direction. This is a restaurant and bar. Lots of restaurants. I'm waiting on Lamar to come out of the restroom. Okay. Gotta try to figure out where we've got to meet up with Grandpa Paul. My phone's not wanting to work inside this resort very well. Check-ins down there. Okay, where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Hysterical that they have like 15 restaurants here at the Golden Nugget, and there's only like two open for lunch. I guess they don't think people eat lunch, only eat dinner at night? I don't know. Maybe they expect people to sleep past lunchtime because they're so hungover. Maybe they just do room service. I don't know. So we're on a 30 minute wait for lunch at the so-called claim jumper. Interesting. And there's so many people standing around waiting to get seated. This gentleman over here said this must be the worst day ever to get lunch. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, interesting. And it's not even 12 o'clock yet, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, we made it inside. Okay, this is not my thing, but Madeline and Lamar want to gamble, so it's amazing how many people are gambling this time of day. It is amazing. Is it a smoke-free environment? No. I think so. Is it? Remember in the old days when casinos were just totally smoke no, terrible. nasty and you had to sit there? In bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They all in bars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're going to sit down and gamble. I think this is Lamar's first time gambling since he's been through all these horrible surgeries. Where they make the money. Amazing how much people set and gamble. Not my thing. But I could be tempted to go shopping. Not that I need any uh, casino garb. I don't think they have any luxury stores in here. I'd have to go check it out, I guess. Amazing. It just smells good in here. Little 
bit of entertainment later. I suppose at night, this is probably really hot, maybe. roller room is back there. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, meeting rooms are upstairs. I think that's where Paul's at right now. Anyways, um, cute little bar right here. Oh, look over here. So out here is the pool area. I can't imagine that many people. Well, there are, there are people out there. There's actually people in water. Burr. A little chilly for me. But anyways, it's a cute little, cute pool area. It might be fun at night sitting out by the fire pit. Anyways, we're out of here. It's a fast trip. Going into, it's a nice bar. All white, just my style. Okay, it's been my job to go get the car so we can haul butt back to Houston. Oh, YSL. Okay. Okay. Go shopping. Okay. Don't need a golden nugget t shirt. Meow, 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 meow. Bye bye golden nugget, it was real, it was fun, time to leave. Mardi Gras, golden nugget, win a truck, mm, win that truck. So... Chandeliers. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Ready to go. Okay. So everything has been, all the new rods have been hung up. Okay. We got right, white rods everywhere. White rods everywhere. So guess, that, guess, guess what that means? That means we can start putting clothes in the closet. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I wonder why sometimes they're really bright and sometimes they're really dull. That's interesting. I might have to bring that up to my electrician guy. Interesting. Okay, well, that means we got to get busy putting clothes away. And right now, Sergio's also out here. Oh, he's up there. Wow, okay. So we are redoing the lights. I didn't like those Christmassy looking lights right there. We're gonna do the white with the bigger bulbs. It's gonna look so much better. Oh. Taking out nails or uh, screws. Okay. I don't 
know what he's, I guess he's just taking out screws. Yeah. Anyways, they're going to hang some new lights, but we've got to get busy and start putting all of these clothes back. Yay! And here she is. I'm so excited to see how this gold looks. Now everybody's like, oh, change out the wine racks to gold. Oh, change out the handles on your doors to gold. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Sometimes you can have too much gold. That's why I didn't want gold rods. I wanted white rods because you get too many different golds going, then it looks stupid. So, okay, we got one one pod down, <laughs> and I look how pretty that is. Many more. Yeah. Many what are you more. Do with all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ah, uh, donate it. I don't know. Donate it. So no. now we gotta remember what order all this goes in. And if I can't remember, I guess I gotta pull up the pictures. Yeah, I remember. On my side. <laughs> So, anyways, I'm gonna get started on my side and she gets started on hers. Um. <laughs> where's, where's your pictures? No, I, I, this is right, because the t-shirts were all on this side. Okay, well, I'm gonna get started on my side. Yeah, just like that, we are done. I'd have to say the white and the gold look beautiful. See, it doesn't make the... It does. It looks so much better than the silver rods. So much better. It's pity, pity. So much better. Yeah. Like We're back to normal. Yay. The guys are back hanging new lights. And they moved the swing farther back. They got the closet done, so we'll be putting everything back in the little cubbies. There's mom. I have one of the boys uh, play pickleball with me tonight. Well, yeah. What are you? Or you. That's my body. I never. <laughs> Not with my back right now. Oh. Might loosen it up. Make it feel nice. Fuck. I need to get a massage. So, how are you having them? Hang them. So are they hanging them like they did last time? Why, why are you hanging them so high? Well, because it's got to be, it's got to be above the curtain. I'm just asking how you're having them well, hang I'm them. I'm just saying, yeah. So this is going to be against the wood? Uh, you hang down then, right? We'll just hang them like this. Well, because you really don't want the wind to be swaying them. That's what I'm saying. It's got to be up against the wood so it doesn't... Like, mine droop down a little bit, yeah, but not much. Right. So that Sergio could look at Zach's door to see why it's not closing properly. We got Zane over here doing a VR. We got gaming stations. We got Tashina up here sitting on the furniture that we put up here. So this was actually the furniture that was sitting downstairs. It is now upstairs in the boys' living room area up here. So this is the twins' living room or family room or whatever you want to call it up here and then of course they have a kitchen and everything up here so they can you got, cook you, popcorn and 
do whatever they're gonna do up here. We've gotta get that rack taken apart. Probably give that to Carolina. So they both have bedrooms and bathrooms on both sides. So yeah. And then we got Sergio back here working on this door. This door goes to Zach's room in there. This door goes to Zane's room in there. They both have their own private bathrooms. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there we go. Now you've seen the upstairs of Toshina's house. So coming down to the bottom of the stairs, you know, we were up there. So coming down to the bottom of the stairs, this is where you enter the great room. I call it the great room. Anyways, um, yeah. So this is the front door. That's what leads out to the front. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if we need to show you or not, but anyways. It's the front door. So that's what faces my house. So this is her front door. So once you come in the front door, you then are in the great room area. So like I said, that was the stairs going up. Sorry, the lights are off. That's where we hung the old antique doors that just fit the barn dominium so well. Those are those two new big chairs that we recently purchased and the kitchen so we put the big beams in here to keep it rustic for her we put in storage over here but left the big window so she'd have window and light that door leads to the laundry room of course it says laundry yes so cute little laundry room in here with plenty of shelving and whatnot so she's got plenty of shelving and places to hang everything. So that's what's in here. Then of course we created that island. Remember that island top was what was on the island in my house. Um, but like I said, we put the wood beams in here to keep it rustic. We gave her lots and lots of pantry space for food and storage and whatnot. That's her media systems for the whole house and then of course let's turn on some lights over here this is the area where she likes to kind of decorate her little corner so we gave her plenty of light of course this is the kitchen area the sink we put in this beautiful countertops we kept it kind of rustic with the open shelving and everything. So she's got her cool little bar stools, very rustic. This is all that new wood floor that we just put in. It looks wood, but it's actually ceramic tile. So it holds up much, much, much better. But anyways, um, yeah. So this is the whole kitchen area. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So it's nice and open, open over here to the living room with the TV and whatnot, those big fun chairs. She's doing laundry. Those are the barn doors that we left in and we secured them shut, nailed them shut. They are forever sealed shut. And then we put the patio doors in them, which I think looks very unique looking these are those two big amazing chairs they use the heck out of them money well spent then there's a half bath down here um and here's her half bath this sink was already in here as well as the mirror above the sink so we kept it it was in the barn dominium this was the barn remember this was the barn bathroom downstairs 
So we left that in here and put, of course, a new toilet. But this is pretty much the same as it was when it was the barn bathroom, except we updated everything. And uh, in here is storage. So remember that door and this door came out of my house. They were using those antique doors. I wanted to save them because I know how, how expensive they were and how rustic they were. And sure enough, they fit perfect here in her barn dominium house that we have over here. And of course in here is of course, lots and lots and lots of storage, which is perfect. We've got a full length mirror on that. And then of course we installed the barn door, the sliding barn door, which leads into the master. So that completely shuts so that there's privacy. And uh, hello, well, hello, hello. So you come here, there's a mirror. To the right is the closet, to the left is the bedroom. So in here is her closet. And so you think I got clothes too? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if she's ever worn all of these clothes. <laughs> she does have her own purse collection going. Also, so she's a fanatic about purses and shoes. You can see that she's got her own massive shoe collection. Also, we've got some stuff here and then She's got tennis shoes and slippers and stuff over there. And then she's got more boots and flip-flops and sandals and everything over there. And more boots down there. And then she's got belt collections and everything. So, yeah, so she's got her own little stuff going on around here, too. But this is the closet. Cute little chandelier in here. Rustic bench. She's got her little perfume collection going over here. So very country. And then over here, of course, is the bedroom. So this is her bedroom, very country. We've got dog kennels over there. So we've got a big old king size bed in here. She's got blinds and TV and whatnot. Cute stuff hanging on the walls back here. We did the slap board. And then of course she's got her master bath area. I think there's a light that's not on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Anyways, that's the master bath. Still rustic looking. We left open shelving underneath the sinks and everything. So she's got her makeup area here. Another sink area over here. And then we put frosted glass in here so it gives her light, but privacy, of course, a freestanding tub. Of course, the shower with cool barn door, sliding door, the toilet area, still very rustic, of course lots of storage. But anyways, this is the master bath area. Very cute, very cute, very cute. Of course, we took that all the way in, put it up behind the tub also, so it all ties together. Very, very, very nice. Very nice. So, yeah. So, now you have gotten a tour of Tashina's house. She didn't really, the boys didn't really want me to show their bedrooms. And so I showed you the doorways to where their bedrooms are, um, but they wanted their privacy. Grandma, you don't need to film our bedrooms. So I was like, okay. So anyways, and then of course out here, you've got the outside patio where she's got a covered patio out here where she can sit and whether she's got a heater. Oh, there she is, hello. She's feeding her dogs dinner as we speak. So she's got a walkway that goes that way to the back. Of course, over here, there's the walkway that goes that way to my house. She's got a country swing right there to set in. 
And of course, she's got a little sectional over here. So cute, nice fenced yard, flowers and whatnot. So yeah, so now you have seen Dashina's house. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Okay, so we've got the closet all put back together. It looks amazing. And yes, you guys might be a little surprised, but I did change out the wine glass racks to gold. Remember they used to be black. They are now gold. Yeah, it looks so much better. Yes, yes, yes. So now I know everybody's like, well, now you need to change out your Swarovski crystal door handles. And I'm like, mm, no, no, that, I, I, I just don't think I can change these out. These are just, no, no. But anyways, I did want to update you guys and let you know that I did go ahead and do gold racks. So we've already changed out the black racks to the gold racks. So that looks so much better. And I am loving how the gold hangers look on all of the white rods now. These are not painted rods, guys. These are uh, powder coated. So they... I was told by the manufacturer they will not scrape up. So it is what it is. So anyway, so yeah, we uh, we are done again in the closet for now. Um, they did go out yesterday and take out, remember um, for Fashion Woodlands, we had all kinds of party lights strung crisscrossed. I guess it was Christmas lighting. So we actually have white party lights now just hung around the outside perimeter of the outdoor living area. So now they're white, so they blend in with the woodwork and they're not strung across, zigzagged and all that other kind of crap. So, and then yes, we did take out the big hedges and put in the small hedges. So that looks much nicer. So yeah, everything is looking better. Look at Bruno, look at Bruno. Look at Bruno. He's a big boy. Bruno's getting so big. Bruno's getting to be a big boy. Yes, you are. You're getting to be a big boy. Yes, you are. You're not no longer a little baby puppy. He's getting to be big. Yes, he is. He is. No, no, he's not a little puppy no more. No, you're getting to be big dog. Mm -hmm. You're the big old dog now. You're just a big old dog. So guys, anyways, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, like I said, if you want to get over to my website, I've got two ebooks that are now uploaded on my website, traceromer.com. You can get my uh, Fit for Life book, which is all about becoming the best person of yourself, mentally, physically, spiritually, you know, so Fit for Life. And the other one is Inspiring Salads. It is my uh, little salad, I call it a cookbook, but it's a salad book. Um, of various different salads from all over the world. I've condensed them down and made them very doable uh, for just an average person where you don't have to have weird ingredients and all that kind of crap. It's just pretty straight and simple. But anyways, it's an amazing, amazing book. So run over to TeresaRomer.com and um, pick up yours. They're eBooks, they're PDFs, they're downloadable. Um, so amazing, amazing, amazing. And now I'm working, working on another one on how to be the best at social media. So, um, yeah, got lots of eBooks coming out. Look at, look at my little lady standing over there. Hey, Valentina. Hey, Valentina. Hey, Valentina. What you doing, girl? What you doing, girl? Hey, I think it's time to change your outfit. I think it's time. It's time. Yes. So anyways, jump over to TeresaRomer.com, pick up your ebook on Fit for Life or Inspiring Salads. They are both amazing, amazing uh, PDF um, ebooks, downloadable. And um, also, remember, we're, we're over there on the vault. We're in the vault. If you want my time, if you want my knowledge, get over to the vault, become a member. We are having so much fun. Thirsty Thursdays are a blast. I am changing people's lives. And you know what? That's what it's all about. That's what makes my heart warm and fuzzy. That's what I feel like I was put on this earth for. I have been changing people's lives most of my life. Um, all through being a personal trainer and health club owner, that was my goal in life was, was to change people's lives for the better. 
So I'm just continuing to do that um, with my own network, with my own community. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed finally getting to see Tashina's place uh, done. Um, she's all settled in and happy and the twins are happy. So everybody's happy. So with that said, cannot wait till Friday. It's going to be another Fashion Friday video. Peace out.